Hello, my name is Zach Helmberger, and I would like to share with you two documents I found on the internet and a remarkable personal experience that I had. And I have witnesses that will testify to this remarkable experience I had concerning uh, infectious diseases and vitamin C. First, I'd like to share with you a paper um, let me pull it up here. Uh, okay, that goes away. Here we go. Um, whoops, I gotta share it first. Hang on. I'm learning. Okay, share screen. Gotta get my glasses now. Okay, share screen. Okay, this is what? Oh, that's strange. Oh, here we go. Okay. This is a paper. Let me go back up to the top here. Uh, in Journal of Critical Care. And the title is Combined Vitamin C, Hydrocortisone, and Thiamine Therapy for Patients with Severe Pneumonia Who Were Admitted to the Intensive Care Unit. Okay, so this is um, an interesting study that is very relevant to what we're experiencing now. Today is uh, for 22-2020. That's uh, January through April 22-2020. Um, so this is a, a very relevant uh, paper. And what they found in this um, study was they administered vitamin C, hydrocortisone, and thiamine, which is, uh, I think that's vitamin B1 if, if memory serves. Okay, uh, vitamin C and, and thiamine are both vitamins and hydrocortisone uh, helps with, uh, helps reduce inflammation. Um, so one of the things is uh, hospital mortality tended to drop in the treatment group, which is good. Uh, chest radiological finding was significantly improved in the treatment group. Uh, and this improvement associated independently, apparently, I don't know how they figured that out, but somehow they, uh, that was independent with, independently associated with less hospital mortality. Also, the treatment did not increase acute kidney injury or superinfection, whatever that is. Um, and so here's uh, material and method. So this is what I wanted to focus on on this study. Uh, it said that all the, the patients with severe um, pneumonia who were admitted into this test uh, with the vitamin C protocol were, were treated with the vitamin C protocol protocol which is six grams of vitamin C per day and apparently this was administered intravenously uh, 1.5 grams uh, four times a day or something like that it came out to be six grams per you know 24 hours um, so I think it was like 1.5 grams uh, every you know six hours or something like that um, okay, and and the results were encouraging. It, it uh, you know it wasn't like you know massive. Um, let me see if I can scroll down to the. There should be a table here. Is that it? Okay. Uh, okay, so primary and secondary clinical outcomes of the total treatment and control group. So the treatment groups, there was, so apparently there was 53 people in the treatment group, uh, and 11 of them died in the treatment. So I guess that was 21% mortality. In the control group, there was 46 people in the control group. 17 people died which was a 37% uh, mortality. Now, there's another thing that I wanted to share with you, 
which is a chart that is quite interesting. Um, this is called the Cathcart. It was by Dr. Cathcart. It's called a Scorbic Bowel Tolerance Summary. And uh, let me uh, first zoom out here so you can get a better picture of what's going on here. Um, this is a method for utilizing vitamin C just short of the doses which produce diarrhea. And in other words, that's the, uh, you know, how you titrate the bowel tolerance. You keep increasing the uh, dosage amount and or frequency until you start to, you know, feel like, okay, this is, you know, it might, might be running to the bathroom kind of thing. Um, and um, they have a table here, and this is, you know, based on clinical experience. Um, it says usual bowel, bowel tolerance doses. So if when you're in a normal state of health, um, shown here, I don't remember if I can highlight that or not. No, nope. okay, that's an image. Uh, if you're in a normal state of health, uh, you can usually take anywhere between four and 15 grams of vitamin C uh, over, you know, in a 24 hour, in a number of doses per 24 hours, like, you know, four doses or six doses in a normal state of health before you, you know, start hitting bowel tolerance. Now, this is, and this is still a mystery apparently, nobody really knows for sure, um, but if you have like a severe cold, you can take 60 to over 100 grams in eight to 15 doses per 24 hour period and not get diarrhea. If you have the flu, influenza, which is what we are experiencing currently, the dosage can be anywhere from 100 to 150 grams in doses eight to 20 times in a 24-hour uh, hour period before you hit bowel tolerance, before you start getting diarrhea. And also I want to point out bacterial infections down here close to the bottom of the chart. Uh, if you get a bacterial infection, you can, it can be anywhere from 30 to over 200 grams per 24 hours before you hit bowel tolerance. And here notice that the, the dosage frequency is, is significantly higher, you know, like 10 doses or 25 doses per 24 hour period. So it can be even up to like every hour if you're doing like a 24 or 25 doses. So put that on the, on the back burner for now. That, that'll be related to the personal experience I'd like to share um, in a bit here. So let's go to the, um, let's go to the chart here. This is an interesting chart. So what this is showing is you have on the, on the vertical axis is symptoms. So if you have a severe cold, you're going to have, you know, such and such symptoms. If you have mononucleosis or pneumonia, this is, you know, so it's way up here. Uh, you know, obviously the symptoms are much more severe. You know, it's like uh, respiratory distress, you know, not being able to breathe, uh, you know, serious stuff. But for like a, you know, a mild cold or a severe cold, you're going to have some symptoms. And what's interesting about this, is on the x-axis here, you have grams of ascor ascorbic acid taken orally per 24 hour period. So as you ramp up, so let's take like severe cold, for example, as you ramp up your dosage from, you know, zero grams to 10 grams to 50 grams to 80 or 90 grams, the symptoms that you're experiencing will be about the same throughout this entire range of dosage. Then what happens is once you start to get to about 80 to 90% of bowel tolerance, the symptoms will suddenly drop off significantly. Um, and you'll feel better, you'll, you'll feel really good. And then, but that will trip some people as says, oh, okay, I'm, I'm cured. And then they stop taking the vitamin C and then wham, you know, it comes back at you. So what you have to do is you have to maintain this dosage amount and frequency 
but just before you get onto the onset of diarrhea. So if you start feeling, you know, uh, you know, you just your gut's kind of like, you know, not happy, and you're getting pretty gassy, then then you know you're probably in this range right here on the on the chart here. Now for mononucleus or pneumonia, you know, very severe, especially the pneumonia. I mean, you know, respiratory distress. Um, you know, this is you know serious stuff. So here, you know, obviously the symptom is you know is way up here on the on the chart, and then you have to you know, so you have to take you know probably like you know 175 grams in a day in a 24-hour period or or more. It's obviously it's going to vary. I mean everybody's different, but but you will see this curve happen. You see, it's like nothing, 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 and then you, you know, as you're increasing, you're titrating, you're increasing your amount and/or frequency until you say, "Hey, I feel better now." Okay, then you maintain that for a while until the infection clears or whatever the condition is clears, which could be, you know, a couple of days or so. But if you keep increasing the dose, then what well, you'll you'll hit the uh, diarrhea. You'll start getting a like your stomach is kind of, you know, your gut's kind of like not happy, you know. And, making noise and and then you're getting gassy and then you'll be running to the toilet at some point. So it's kind of a fine line and you have to kind of, you know, I always kind of chicken out. I always, I'm always like up here instead of, you know, all the way down here uh, on the dose of months. I just don't like the uh, inconvenience of having diarrhea. Um, but this is what, you know, from clinical experience, this is what, you know, required for such a severe condition like like pneumonia. So going back to this, uh, if you go back up to um, the top of the article, uh, to the method of materials, they're administering six grams of vitamin C per 24 hour period, which is clearly not enough for the severe, the, you, know, the, you know, this is serious stuff. I mean, this is kind of like, you know, child's play in a sense, because this is, what you would get, um, whoops, uh, let me zoom in. So like for a normal, for a normal state of health, you know, anywhere from four to 15 grams of ascorbic acid in a 24 hour period, that's, you know, for a normal state of health. These people are in severe, they're in distress with, you know, viral pneumonia, which is requiring 150 to 200 plus grams of, of ascorbic acid and in, you know, like on an hourly basis. You know, uh, every two hours or every, every hour uh, to get therapeutic benefit. And in this case, what they were doing, um, let me see if I can find that. Um, 1.5 grams. So now they were doing intravenous vitamin C. So this most likely was sodium ascorbate, which is the pH neutral form of ascorbic acid. So, you know, so because ascorbic acid, you know, you put, a, you know, an acid into your veins, it's going to hurt. So this is most likely sodium ascorbate. So 1.5 grams every six hours for four days. So this is, um, you know, if you go by this chart here, this is clearly not for viral pneumonia, you know, 100 to 200 grams, not milligrams, grams. You know, so this is like 200,000 milligrams every two hours or every hour, you know, I mean, divided into, you know, every hour or every two hours would be considered a therapeutic level. Um, so this study is, in that sense, is, is flawed. But even with this small amount of intravenous vitamin C, there was a clearly measurable benefit um, so this is, this is really interesting. I, it's actually even a miracle that there was any, um, that there was any benefit at all, um, with such a small, um, with a, such a small dosage. Now, 
Um, let's stop the sharing of that. And then what I'd like to take the rest of this time is to share with you what happened to me on December 7, 2015. I woke up that morning, uh, I got a sore throat, and I noticed my, you know, my tonsils were swollen, you know, it, you know and, and as the day progressed, I could feel that the air, when I was breathing, the air was constricted a little bit because of the, you know, swollen tonsils. And um, I looked in the mirror, and sure enough, you get the classic sign, you know, the white streaks of the white spots on the, um, on the tonsils. And I said, okay, I've got strep throat. It's, you know, it's pretty clear. Um, and if it was not strep throat, it was at least clearly some kind of a bacterial infection on the, visible on the tonsils. Um, and so I said, okay, well, this is a golden opportunity to, to try out this, um, this thing. So let's go back to the chart. Whoops. Um, so let's go back to the chart. I'm going to do a screen share again to, okay, now I've got to get my glasses again. Uh, this bugger. Okay, share screen. All right, so let's go to, um, this one here. All right, so if you go down here, uh, bacterial infections. 30, anywhere between 30 to 200 plus grams of the ascorbic acid in a 24 hour period taken orally in 10 to 25 doses. You know, so you take that, you know, 30 to 200 grams and divide it into 25 doses or, or 10 doses per day. And that would be considered a therapeutic uh, therapeutic uh, dosage for bacterial infections. So that, um, 30 to 200. So, I mean, you know, you just kind of have to, but like for the, here's 200 grams. So if it was like a really bad bacterial infection, it would be very similar to this. So this could be like, you know, something like sepsis, which is, this is, you know, a very dangerous condition. Uh, usually ends up uh, in death. Um, so you'd have to be taking a boatload of vitamin C to get a, a therapeutic effect or a noticeable reduction in symptoms. So it would probably be like a bad cold then. So, and so you, you get up to that. Um, when you get up to 150, you got 100 grams, 150 grams, and then your, your symptoms start uh, dropping noticeably. So that's what I did. I ended up, um, what I ended up doing is I was taking, um, okay more light going here. Um, so what I did is I ended up taking uh, three to four size zero zero gelatin capsules that I hand filled with a pure ascorbic acid powder. So I was taking basically three to four grams of ascorbic acid in one shot. Now normally if I was in a normal state of health and I took three to four grams in one shot, I would probably be running to the toilet in about 30 minutes. Um, I, that's the dose I took and, and nothing. I mean, no, you know, nothing happening in, in the gut, uh, no gassiness. And so then uh, I, after about 15 minutes, I, 15 or 20 minutes, I took another dose, three or four, of these big capsules in one shot and no distress. And so I ended up taking three to four grams every 15 to 20 minutes for the entire day. And so I was probably up, you know, probably like 16 hours that day.
So if you do the math, um, say four grams times, let's see, say if I did it every, every 15 minutes, so that would be four doses per hour. So that would be, Uh, about 16 grams an hour, so 10 hours would be 160 grams. Is that right? I don't know. Anyway, um, but you can see it's it's a lot. I mean, I was like eating this stuff. It was like I basically ate almost a third of a pound or around a third of a pound of ascorbic acid. And and I just barely started to get gassy at that dose. You know, And this was sustained throughout the entire day, every 15 or 20 minutes. And the thing that was really cool about it is that my signal for taking the uh, taking my next dose was throat pain. When I noticed that the throat pain was increasing, that was my signal to take more, which ended up to be about 15 to 20 minutes. I didn't use a timer or anything like that. I was just like, you know, feeling, uh, you know, just you know, taking notes see if I feel any pain. And so that's what I did, uh, and it was remarkable. I felt, you know, it was just like it was just another day. Maybe I was a little more fatigued than, you know, than a usual day. Uh, and there was no fever that I was aware of. I, um, you know, I didn't, you know, Nicole, uh, she witnessed me, by the way. She was one of my witnesses who saw me um, doing this. Uh, and she would put her hand on my, on my forehead, and, you know, there was no obvious sign of fever. Um, the gener I think, you know, for strep throat, I think the fever is fairly mild, you know, maybe like 101 Fahrenheit or something. And so that went on. Uh, the next day, I, I think I backed off a bit on, on the dosage because I was just feeling better. So I've been about, you know, so about two and a half days, the whole thing was clear. The tonsils were clear in the mirror. And I felt great. I mean, I felt fine. There was no, um, I mean, there was like, you know, you could feel the, the tonsils were swollen. So I had to, you know, I couldn't take two, two at once. I had to take one at a time because, you know, the throat was a little bit constricted uh, due to the swollen tonsils. And um, so it was amazing. I mean, it was virtually no pain. Uh, and I remember when I was a kid, I mean, you know, I would it got strep throat maybe like, you know, two or three, you know, two or three, maybe, you know, four times when I was, you know, a kid, uh, like in, you know, in grade school. And the pain on swallowing was so horrible. I would, you know, it was like, it would get to the point where I would rather just drool all over myself than have to swallow. It was so horribly painful to swallow. So that was one thing about the vitamin C that was a, a real pleasant surprise is that it just, it was virtually no pain. Um, so I was thrilled with that. And the fact that I could take 160 grams and not get diarrhea, you know, just uh, maybe a little bit, you know, a little bit gassier than normal, but that was it. Um, so clearly, clearly there's something going on here. You can't deny the fact that I mean, if, you know, anybody in a normal state of health who took 160 grams of ascorbic acid over, you know, a 24-hour period is prepping themselves for a colonoscopy. That's how you would prep yourself for a colonoscopy. You would just, blah, you know, and, and it'd be all cleared out. But that's not what happened. And that only happened when I had strep throat, a bacterial infection. And so it came out to be about 160 grams, which is right in that range that they were talking about in the in that chart is um, between 30 and, and the 200 plus grams for a bacterial infection. So I think it's probably, you know, a little bit on the mild side for, you know, bacterial infection, but still uh, 160 grams. And I probably couldn't even gone higher than that, um, you know, not a whole lot higher, but, you know, maybe a little bit more than that before I would you know, I'll be running to the toilet. So that's my testimony. That's my um, remarkable experience that I had uh, back in 2015. Um, and that
clinched it for me. Uh, you know, I was all kind of skeptical about this, you know, this whole vitamin C business, but that experience clinched it for me. I mean, there was just no doubt in my mind that there was something going on, it, and people still don't know what exactly is going on, but there is obviously some kind of an active mechanism that is taking up that vitamin C and putting it where it needs to go to fight off, you know, this bacterial infection that I had. Um, and, uh, you know, so, you know, you have to take the, you know, the high doses to, to get the benefit of the, you know, so when you start getting the symptom reduction, which for me, obviously, you know, the most horrible symptom of the strep throat was the pain, the terrible pain when you swallowed. So um, that, you know, clearly, so I was like right on the edge of where that, you know, that graph, you know, would shoot down. And then, then if you keep increasing the dose, then you start getting the, the diarrhea would start to increase. Um, and I guess to this day, nobody that I know of knows why that is, that the body somehow is uh, either actively or something's happening, but it's taking up and utilizing that vitamin C to detoxify the toxins, you know, remove the toxins from your body that the bacterial infection was creating and which consequently, you know, was causing all this pain. Um, and so the same thing is going to be with, you know, common cold and, you know, and I've got, you know, countless uh, experiences with the common cold and, and uh, just knocking the snot out of it with vitamin C. Uh, and the same thing is going to be with the pneumonia. I mean, it, it's not any different. There's, um, you know, uh, vitamin C is an amazing thing. It, uh, it's like the garbage collector. It, you know, you got all these, you know, vitamin C molecules going through your body and they're basically like collecting the garbage. They're, you know, there's reactive oxygen species that are ROS that they call it, you know, these uh, free radicals that are generated by oxidative stresses in the body, you know, any kind of oxidative stress, whether, um, whether you, you, know, you cut yourself or you get bit by a spider or, you, you know, stung by a wasp, or if you, you know, eat something that's toxic, or if you have an infection, you know, whether it's a viral infection or a bacterial infection, um, this stuff will help remove those toxins. It'll bind to them and then it'll remove it through the bowel or through the urine, uh, whichever way it is. And, um, and, you know, help your immune system to do its job. The immune system is, you know, is, is given to us by God. And it is an incredible uh, thing. Because, I mean, every second of every day, we're being assaulted by, you know, bacteria and viruses and, uh, you know, insults from, you know, bees or, you know, uh, anything, anything bad in our food, anything bad in the air, anything you know, bad in our water. So, yeah, don't underestimate the power of vitamin C. So that's it. Thank you very much. And I hope uh, this will allay fears that there, you know, even though there's no vaccine yet, there, vitamin C is available now and it will help you now. And of course, you know, drinking plenty of water so that you can, you know, flush out, um, you know, the toxins that are generated by viruses and, and or the body's reaction to the viruses, which also will produce toxins like, you know, cytokine storm and, and things like this, that the vitamin C is there to clean up, clean up the mess because it's like a war zone inside your body. So it, it's there to, you know, to clean up the messes and uh, enable your body to function normally. So that's it. Uh, thank you very much. And, you know, any questions, you know, please uh, leave it in the comments here. I'll be posting this on YouTube shortly. Okay, God bless. Bye-bye.